All right, here I have the Nemo Roamer XL Wide. This is a pad that's sitting inside this bag. Now I'm gonna flash some pictures up here so you can have a look at it. I don't think you need to see me laying on it. I did have it out, I did have it aired up and everything to try it out. Now it says it's a self-inflating pad. When I laid it out and I pulled the plug on it, um, right out of the box, I waited like 30 minutes, it didn't self-inflate at all. So, maybe after I use it a few times, then maybe it'll start doing that. But straight out of the box, it didn't. And it comes with a big bag, a yellow bag for inflating. Um, I had to use that like six or seven times to inflate it, which, it, which wasn't a big deal. Usually, I mean, this goes for $249.99, might as well say $250 everywhere. You're not going to find a deal on it anywhere. It's always the same price no matter who's selling it. So I think it gets locked in that. Now, the Nemo Roamer XL Wide has an R value of 6 is what this has. And an R value of 6 means minus 15 Fahrenheit, minus 26 Celsius. So this goes pretty cold. It weighs 5 pounds, 8 ounces, so you're not going to put this in a backpack. I mean, this is strictly for car camping, and that's what I bought it for. The Nemo Roamer XL Wide pairs up nicely with a Nemo Jazz sleeping bag. Now, a couple years back, a year back, they had another Jazz sleeping bag. And it looked prettier than the one they're selling now. But the problem was the old one was the temperature ratings were all wrong. And people were reporting how it looks nice, but... It was mainly a summer bag. So they discontinued it and they no longer sell it. Now I did see the odd person selling the older one on eBay. You know and they were like 220 240 And to be quite honest with you. That is way too high of a price. I don't care if it's brand new. Because one thing that Nemo offers. Is a great warranty on their stuff. And if something happens to it that you know, was workmanship or whatever, and you can prove it with a receipt that you bought it from a reliable source, like Amazon or someplace like that, then they will replace it free. So when you're spending, say, 250 bucks on this, and then you're spending like $300 on the sleeping bag that matches up nicely with this, you really want that warranty. You really don't want to mess around with that. Now, I have the Nemo Jazz sleeping bag Coming in on Monday, sells for 300 It weighs a little over 6 pounds. And they say it goes from 30 Fahrenheit to 0 Celsius with that particular sleeping bag. Now, I'm betting, and I can't touch, test these temperatures until wintertime comes up in another few months, but I'm betting with these two together, the R value and... The sleeping bag itself will basically, I think it will be able to go colder. Now, when you buy the sleeping bag, it comes with a special storage sack, not like this one where it's an open top, where when I take the Nemo Roamer XL and I slide it into the bottom of the sleeping bag because it holds it in place, I can leave it there. I can literally deflate it, roll it up, and put it inside its bag. And as you can see, it's pretty large. When it's, This is just a pad. Now, when you combine this with the sleeping bag, it's going to be a much bigger bag. So you can see that it's not, um, it's not something you're going to use for a backpack. I'm trying to put together a very nice car camping setup that is very uh, comfortable. But more so where I can take more items. Like, for example, I have a big blow-up queen-size mattress. I can plug it into my... I have an inverter. I could, I could air it up and everything. But the problem is it's huge. And uh, you're limited when you have a pickup truck on how much stuff you can put in the back or inside the truck. And uh, that's very important to know. Now, you can also buy a foam mattress. I've seen on... Um, 
on Amazon for like 120, 153 inches. This is actually four inches. And it's cheaper, but again, it's huge. It really takes up a lot of room. So when I compared the storage of this thing, how I can put this pad inside the actual, you know, the Nemo Jazz sleeping bag and then roll it up and put it in the same bag and keep it together, I was uh, pretty, impress pretty impressed with how tight that area is. So I'm saving space when I put it in my vehicle. So one, I'm very warm. The other reason is because it's an extra large wide, so it's wider than your traditional sleeping pads. Okay. Now, one thing to take note about the Nemo Roamer extra large wide is that you can poke a hole in the bottom. I mean, it's not an indestructible pad, and I was looking it over. It's a little bit thicker than your regular pads, but you could poke a hole in it. Now, being that you're able to go car camping with this thing, I'm going to take two moving blankets with me and uh, lay them down and then put the pad on top with the moving blankets protecting the pad itself, so I doubt it'll ever get a hole in it if something ever went through the bottom of the tent or something. But you still have to make sure when you lay your tent that you really try to look around and make sure there's no roots or sticks that are gonna come up through your tent into your pad or you're gonna be quite upset. Now maybe the guarantee will cover it, I don't know. It is an un unconditional guarantee. So this setup is not cheap, but if you're a side sleeper, if you're looking for pure comfort, and I mean, I don't, if you're gonna go camping, I don't care if it's once a year or if it's even for a week once a year, you might as well go and be comfortable. That's, that's the way I see it. And, and it's designed where it all stores in its own bag really nice. I think I can get the moving blankets in there too. And uh, have the whole unit all in that one bag that I zip up. And I can now just put that in the back of my truck. It's not going to go anywhere because of the weight. I don't have to worry about it blowing out if I'm doing 60, 80 down the highway. So the packability was a big must with me. The other thing was it was four inches. Um, I don't have to wait for it to inflate. If it takes this time, I could slap the yellow bag to it. I mean, literally it takes, you know, 35 minutes and the thing is blown up and ready to go. Now the valves on it are pretty cool on the Nemo Roamer XL wide. It has three valves. The one valve I can adjust gently with my finger and it will let air out. So I can kind of sink into the mattress a little bit and get the perfect, you know, how it feels. And then it had two other valves where you can disperse the, um, the air out of it quickly. But you're going to want to close one on the far end and leave the other one open because it's a one-way valve. The other one's a two-way valve. So you, when you get it all down with the two open, you roll it up once, close that one valve, leave the other open, then unroll it, kick it in half, and it has clips that you put on. And then you can roll up the rest and get it pretty tight the way you want it. And it does go in its own stuff sack, but this is gonna go into the other one when it comes in on Monday. So we're, we're gonna see what goes on with that. But this thing is made really well, I mean. Between every other regular pad out there you use for backpacking, you know, the ones that are light, this thing is much stronger and will take much more of a beating. But by the time you're done, you're into, you know, 500, by the time you're in with tax, probably a $600 setup. But I guarantee with this particular setup, you're going to be so comfortable, it's unbelievable. And I think they changed the Nemo Jazz from the old one to, to the new one, because the new one's not as pretty, but they're running a, a different material on the outside. And I think that's to make sure condensation doesn't get inside the bag. And the other thing about this bag, it's actually artificial. It doesn't have duct down or anything. And... Uh, well, it makes it, it'll still make it warm even if it gets a dampness or if it gets a little bit wet. But I'll have a video. It comes in on Monday, so we'll see how the weather is. And I'll put this system together and let you have a look at it. But um, if you're looking for something super comfortable, packs down tight, easy to set up, the Nemo Roamer XL Wide is the best way to go. Now, they do make a double wide and almost the size of a double wide bed. I wouldn't do that if 
you're going to buy it for two people. I would buy two of these separately because these do connect together. And because now the other person that's sleeping beside you can adjust their mattress that makes them feel good. To where with the double wide, they're pretty much stuck with whatever you adjust it to. So by having two separate Nemo uh, Romer XL wides, you can um, that you can have it adjusted to how you want it. And the other thing is with the Nemo Jazz sleeping bag that also connects together. You'd have to buy two, and then literally you could have a double sleeping bag if you wanted to. You're getting pretty expensive for two people, but it does have a lot of perks that some may want and wish to have. They really did a lot of research when they put this together. Even the top of the Nemo Romer XL Wide has this nice felt feeling to it. But if you're gonna use this without the Nemo Jazz sleeping bag, which is what it pairs nicely to, and let's say you're gonna use it with your own sleeping bag, I would throw some type of sheet on top of the thing. I really would that wraps around or something like that. And at least that way, keep it clean because it does have a soft material, but I would throw a sheet on it. So here's a little review on the Nemo Roamer XL Wide if you're considering on getting it and what my views are and why I bought it and things I considered. I'll have links in the bottom if you want to pick them up, but I did lay on it for about three hours. It's the most comfortable sleeping pad I've ever owned in my life. But then again, it's pricey. But do you get what you pay for? In this case, I think you do. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one.